Are you pretending you're sleeping? I'm real asleep. This will be the last vlog for quite a long time. I just think I have a fear of change. Ayo! 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 Good morning, everybody. Well, good afternoon. So we are headed into Dubuque again. What are we going in for this time? Uh, at this point, uh, I don't know. Oh, camera shopping still. So. Oh, yeah. Checking out cameras, and we need printer ink. Setting up paper. stuff for tomorrow, because tomorrow is Scaretober. Zombie burger. Yes, I'm so excited, you guys, to take you with us. This is exciting to me to be going to Zombie Burger. Yes. Never had it. So, and I just kind of want to put out there an apology to you guys. I know we have missed one or two videos. We were actually just discussing that in the car. We've missed putting out a video or two um, during Scaretober, and we generally put out a video every single day. Well, so. we put one out every day. It was just no, not... I missed one day. Did you miss one day? I did when we were struggling to get out the footage from Willow Creek. Oh, okay. And the reason that I didn't give you guys our daily vlog I had actually filmed was I put that video out at like 1.30 in the morning. Because no matter what, I was getting that video out. I said I was. So I didn't want to double up and put out two videos that day. And the footage we had filmed, I just ended up scrapping. It wasn't overly exciting. It was just our every day that we filmed for you guys. So I opted to put out the Willow Creek video instead of just our regular daily vlog. So, but I just kind of wanted to address it and let you guys know, because you know, we normally upload every single day, but that would be why, because we were having technical issues with our video footage. And part of that is just a learning process for us because we're using a lot of new equipment that we're not used to, new cameras and for, and then, of course, I have this screw up with this camera, which was, <laughs> that was so That's frustrating, you guys. Most time. It was. It was trying to figure out how to condense these files that aren't meant, they are an MP4, but they're not meant to go into the same type of MP4 format. But anyway, I explained that to you guys, kind of all that technical tech stuff that I'm not a techie, you guys. I'm like, I'm an amateur techie. So I learn as I go learn about lenses and learn about cameras and learn about formatting. I know a lot more now about video and film than I ever knew before and I learn every single day. Like I was working with my editing software trying to put a picture in because I always thought it had picture in picture. Then I realized that's not what it's for. It's actually for a feature that I've wanted to use for a long time and didn't know that I had. So <laughs> every day I learn. Sometimes it's just by accidental mistakes. Anyway, we're headed into Dubuque and see if we can't get the stuff we need. Sleepyhead is waking up. We're at Grandma's. So cute. He's so cute. Ah! Oh, you fake. You fake. I'm going to take a picture of you. Okay. You guys, my mother-in-law has the most beautiful tree by her house. It's so pretty in the fall. He's got to go get pictures for her Instagram. Are you pretending you're sleeping? I'm not real sleeping. Oh, you're really sleeping? That, you guys, on the side of my mother-in-law's house, there is a squirrel just hanging out. Chilling out on the side of the house. Yeah. All right, guys. So this will be the last vlog for quite a long time that I film with this camera. I think I'm still going to try to get it fixed, but we are actually traveling into Wisconsin to get one particular camera because there is only one Best Buy in the entire area district for the Best Buys that actually has this camera and we're getting a really good deal on it because they had it in an open box which means it's $130 off and the camera's on sale like so half like, off yeah. of its normal price right now it's just a special sale so it's a camera I wouldn't have expected to be able to pick up and I'm super excited yeah we're getting a new camera you guys and I will finally have a view screen back 
which will be nice. And this one is supposed to be super, super nice. So I'm pretty excited about it. I've been filming with a Sony for a long time and I really love my Sony. It took a lot for me to switch. But what's, it's a Panasonic, right? Yeah, it's a Panasonic brand, but it's supposed to be just amazing. Matt kept trying to talk me into a Canon and I just won't do Until it. Until I found out they only did 30 frames per second. Yeah, I just do not want a Canon. I know how much I love the quality of my Sony, so I'm a Sony girl, so we'll see. This Panasonic is supposed to be better than comparable to it. I'm super excited. I can't wait to show you guys. That's where we're headed. We're on our way to Wisconsin. This is what I ended up picking up, and of course I've already pulled it out of the box and I've been playing with it and stuff. I have no idea how to use this yet. This is the Panasonic Lumix. Um, and it has the ability to put the expanded microphone on top. It has the sunscreen that comes with it, which is really cool. Detachable lenses, so you can add different size lenses to it. So it's super cool. It'll film in 4K. And then it has... I was going to show you guys a side-by-side, -side, but I literally do not know how to use this camera yet. It has the flip-out lens, which is perfect for vlogging, and then it swivels and spins. So I have to play with this more. This thing has everything from time-lapse to stop-motion. I can film in black and white. I don't know. It's crazy. So it was a super, super good deal on this camera, and I was... I was very lucky to find it. So I'm pretty excited about it, but I can't show you a side by side of how this films compared to my Sony. Um, because I just, I don't know how to use it yet. So I've got to sit there and work on it a little bit tonight, but this is what you will start seeing. I hope the vlogs off of coming up here in the very near future. Right, guys, I have it set up. I have it ready to go for tomorrow. I'm really afraid to film with this camera because I'm just, I'm not used to it. It is so technical. It's a really cool camera. It has so many cool functions. I just think I have a fear of change when it comes to stuff like this. I'm kind of like, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But it is broke, so it needs fixed. I'm just freaking out. We'll see tomorrow how well I do with it. Mm -hmm.